Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for coming and joining to another English class. Let's see, we are going to begin reading the versicle. Okay, we have for this week one value and the value is this phrase, poor in spirit. We have to be poor in spirit. It's according to Matthew 5, 3, blessed are the poor in spirit for there is the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Um, this is a new international version. If we take a look, for example, in Bible Hub, we are going to find blessed are the poor in the spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Remember, these are words from the Lord Jesus. And in this case, blessed is like to, uh, in Spanish, we can say another um, word like bienaventurado, that, that maybe can say uh, the meaning is like um, uh, twice blessed twice blessed well let's see we have another translation for this like new living translation god blesses those who are poor and realize their need from him for the kingdom of heaven is theirs there is a little changing because is god blesses it's like a bird it's an action and to to whom okay to the poor but in this case remember is not poor to talking about to um, to the material things is not to the poor and the rich or maybe talking about wealth or doesn't have wealth is not that kind of poor in this case is poor in the spirit it's a person that realize need for god i need for god when you say well i'm here i don't know what to do i am in a big trouble i need from god i need help from god we are going to say hey i can be poor in spirit it's like to be humble and we have um another translation that is the same is the same word the same words blessed are the poor in spirit blessed are the poor in spirit blessed to all this version english standard Berean, king james um new american is the same blessed are the poor in the spirit for there is the kingdom of heaven don't thinking about jesus say okay the poor will uh, in another life will have the heaven no it is not that it is one person that is poor but no know, know about the wealth of the riches is to be poor in the spirit in amplify bible we are going to find and explaining what is this at first the adjective blessed spiritually prosperous happy to be admired that is the definition for this kind of bless is spiritually prosperous is not thinking about material things is thinking about spiritual prosperous and to be happy okay and to be admired and then for another people, not for people are going to admire this another one, these blessed people, because they are they look happy, they look well uh, without the riches. And the poor in the spirit, those devoid of a spiritual arrogance, those who regard themselves as insignificant. Okay, we can be poor in the spirit when we accept that we have one Lord and He's God. God is Lord, and we say, hey, I'm not nothing without God. I need God. I recognize that my life without God is like nothing. That is to be poor in the spirit. One more time is like to be humble. We have to say, I need to be humble. I want to be humble. Don't say, I am humble, because when we when we just say, I am humble, maybe you are a little arrogance. You are going to say, I need to be humble every day every single day well for there is the kingdom of heaven both now and forever for that is not thinking about well if you be poor in this life you don't have uh, riches you don't have money you don't have anything um in the other life you will have the kingdom of heaven it's not that it's talking about now and forever the kingdom of heaven is yours but you have to be poor in a spirit in this case be poor in the spirit is to recognize to god to the god and our life okay that's gonna be all and we have something uh to do 
Bueno, eh, antes de pasar al material, ¿verdad? Que les he compartido, eh, quisiera saber, eh, Soyla, ¿ya estará lista para hacer su participación que había quedado pendiente? Bueno, si no, soy la, le dejaría quizás los últimos minutitos de la clase para que hagamos su participación. Ya tengo aquí cargado su documento, ¿verdad? Y quizás en los últimos minutitos voy a dejar los últimos 10 minutos para que pueda hacer la participación que le quedó pendiente. Ok, bueno. Entonces, eh, vamos a pasar al material for tonight. We are going to talking about training for call center. Okay, and here we have one picture, uh, one uh, famous um, for American is this this picture, and he say to you, we want you. Okay, somebody knows the name for this man? You know what is the name for this man? Tell me, somebody knows what is the name for this man that say, we want you. How American call him? Hey, I, I know in Spanish, is the Uncle Sam. Oh. The translation of Spanish, but then you say, I don't know if it's the same. Yes, it is the same. It's the same name. It is Uncle Sam is correct he is uncle sam and he is um yeah there is some some history about the um, coming for 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 the name uh some people say that in maybe in in 18 centuries there was a man a butcher there was a butcher uh, call, call it the Samuel, and he um, he make uh, make meat for 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 soldiers in 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 the war uh, in the independence war from the United States, and in the cans in the cans with meat, um, there was some some letters or or maybe an abbreviation. Uh, from uh, like uh, U.S. U United States, United States is the abbreviation in this cans. But um, then comes the idea that these men call it Samuel, had United uh, United States. They they think United States, but it's not. Is Uncle Sam, and then the people maybe in um, soldiers say. Ah, yes, Uncle Sam meat. There come the Uncle Sam meat. And then come this, this figure. And maybe as was uh, make it popular uh, when uh, came the first uh, World War and uh, Americans uh, use this picture. We want you, but we want you for war in, in, in that time. Well, but let's see, in many call centers, you are going to um, talking about Uncle Sam and they are going to say to you, hey, we want you, we want you to work in a call center in El Salvador. Okay, we have here many names about some call center. And some of these maybe are uh, actually with uh, many, um, um, many buildings, one, two or three buildings of, uh, of these uh call centers and all are for uh another countries uh, that come to el salvador and make these um these great uh, buildings and uh, and many people work in in this call center okay but uh, we have to know what is what is a call center we have here one definition for this uh, well, we are going to say um, it's a physical place, it's a building, okay, but it's more than that. It's an organization, it's maybe an enterprise, a big enterprise, 
Remember, we have to thinking about this call center is for globalization. When comes globalization, then comes the call center because it's to interconnect many different parts of the world, many different countries in one language. In this case is maybe the English. Uh, instead, we have another uh, call centers here in El Salvador, maybe that is going to um, to find people that can speak, for example, French, or um, maybe it, it can be uh, another like in, uh, in Portuguese too, maybe. And we have here this clear, maybe in call center, you are going to use may order, maybe can be by phone, like telemarketing companies. Um, and you are going to do uh, talking about accounts, maybe some with um, important enterprise that make a contraction to uh, to a call center to 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 the custom service, or maybe to uh, offer the products or uh, like to sales. We have many, many kind of call centers and we have to pay attention what we are going to work, for example, with what account, for example, in El Salvador, uh, there is accounts in some of these working for um, uh, big companies like uh, Walmart, like uh, Costco uh, or another uh, big uh, uh, big uh, sales or maybe big companies. Um, in a, a time, there was a call center for, um, for Dell, for, for Dell computer, but currently we are going to um, know it with another name and it's not just for uh, technical support for computer, they use another, uh, another things. Well, we have here and vocabulary. This vocabulary is gonna be a homework for you. Okay, uh, remember this will be a homework. I need that you make this homework and trying to find what is the meaning for these words and this Spanish translation according to this one, okay? As a homework for when, okay, it's gonna be to next Sunday is 13. Okay, uh, homework is for Sunday, for this Sunday, 13. This is your homework. What are you going to do? I need you uh, feel, and maybe in this guy, or you can make in another thing like in your notebook or in a computer, in another document, but try to find, please try to find the word and the Spanish translation for this word and Spanish translation. But I'm going to add you something else. I want that you do something else for this. Um, you can make like a chart, maybe it will be a chart. And for the chart, you are going to use, in this case, another row. In this row, I want you mm, copy and paste a picture. Okay, and you are going to, for, uh, for example, customer, the Spanish translation for customer and a picture. Telephone call, the Spanish translation and try to look a picture. Or uh, maybe if you do this in a, notebook, in a notebook, in your notebook, you can maybe draw, you can make a, a draw um, for these words, okay? Well, Vamos a ver, entonces, para esta semana, ¿verdad? Les voy a dejar una tarea con el vocabulario que se encuentra en este material. Eh, la idea de la tarea es que usted eh, pueda eh, buscar, digamos, lo que sería eh, información respecto de lo que son el vocabulario de, relacionado a lo que son los call centers. Va a buscarme la traducción de cada una de las palabras que aparecen acá pero además quiero que le agreguen una imagen. La puede, si lo hacen en la computer, pues pueden nada más copiarlas y pegarlas. La intención es que ilustremos cada una de las palabras. Eso va a permitir que nos recordemos más fácilmente que es algo viendo una picture. 
Entonces, usted puede hacerlo en un documento aparte, donde ponga las tres columnas, o si usted gusta, pone acá, el, lo puede distribuir de otra manera, ¿verdad? Puede poner acá la Word, puede poner abajo la traducción y a un ladito la picture, la imagen. Bien, para todo el vocabulario que aparece acá en esta página y en la siguiente. Esa sería la tarea que les dejaría ya para comenzar, ¿verdad? Con eh, lo que sería este material. Eh, pueden ver que vamos acá desde Customer hasta Call Center Agent y luego seguiríamos con estos que están acá, desde Business hasta Service. Eh, buscar una imagen que trate de asociarnos qué es cada una de esas palabras, puesto que las vamos a estar viendo en el resto del de contenido. En el resto del contenido van a estar apareciéndonos estas palabras constantemente. Entonces, si algunas las desconocemos, si otras no sabemos qué significan, pues al hacer esta tarea, la intención es que usted con la imagen, al buscar la, el significado, se le haga más fácil recordarlo en su memoria. Recuerden que buscamos activar la memoria fotográfica con esto, que es más fácil recordarnos de una imagen que buscamos de una palabra o asociar la imagen a la palabra. Bueno, eso sería entonces ya la primera tarea que quedaría de ese material. Eh, voy a hacer una pausita ahorita, eh, voy a darle un chancecito a, a Zoila, me parece que me dice que ya está lista, vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Ok, me indica Zoila si ya está lista para participar. Okay, sorry for the delay. Um, I, did, you, did you receive the one I sent it uh, to your email? Okay, perfect. Okay. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Soyla Gonzalez and today I'm gonna talk to the Outlani Disland Result Spot. Um, can you do the next one? Um, I will, my agenda about this Uh, presentation is introduction, primary goals, timelines, uh, special offers, packets, and summary. The introduction of the Lani Disney Preserve is uh, created for enjoy with your family, friends, or co-workers, business, ETC, also to enjoy two beautiful island, natural, rich, or traditional of Hawaii. You can find or this, uh, discover or the legends of Hawaii with beautiful view to the ocean. Primary goals, reservation, activity, food, events, and vacations. Travel opportunities, another way to do business. Meet or landed result. Uh, you can see uh, the hotel, the pools, a restaurant, and spot. I also have posted um, different uh, pictures for the hotel. You can see outside hotel, um, also welcoming, the way they're uh, welcoming the people when you go to the lobby. The receptionist, the enter of the lobby as well. They have a kid, it's a playground for kids. And you can, when you make your reservation, you can do single, double or suite uh, rooms as well. I show you like two different pools, the different area they have. They have an ocean pool, kids pool, pool water, pool events, pool water park, a fine fun pool, private and night pool. So you can see each uh, pool, they have a different um, event. For example, for the events, you can go, you can also make your reservations. If you celebrate a birthday, a wedding, Um, you can hire them so they can make a shot for you and also they're going to do a shot for your guests as well. Um, I posted a few restaurants um, inside and outside. The inside restaurant, you can see a mama, mom's makahiki. And outside, you can see down, down of air, uh, patio restaurant and shape ice. And also they have a, a spot, they, I will post a different um, treatment they're doing to you, to you. So 
you can do mommy and babies is like if you have a baby and you want to uh, have a special session with your kids either toddlers and up i believe that olders is going to be 12 and also you can do a uh, therapy massage facials meditation room food treatment and also makeup for your kids if you have a uh, girls for you can they can do a like princess makeup so they can feel a princess as well Uh, plan your trip. Um, plan, keep your mind how you like the travel. Are you local, national, international? The reason I'm asking you, um, if you live in Hawaii, you can plan your trip like, oh, I want to go to the resort. Or if you live in like in United States, if you live in different um, state, like me, I'm living in California. So I'm plan I travel this plan to go to Hawaii. Or also, if you don't live in uh, USA, you can come from El Salvador, um, Central America, South America. You can keep in mind how you like to do um, your, your trip. And also how you got to do it, driving, flying. And um, how you stay, you stay in the Aulani Resort, outside hotels, Airbnb, family and friends. I pull up this because some people, they want to go only enjoy for one day and they go to visit their family. They stay visit with their family. And also the Airbnb is very popular. So I give you this different choice. So I don't know, like depends how you want to um, create your trip. And also um, cause um, activities and um, of the also they have a like um, Alani is one island, but around the island there's like seven other islands. So if you can, if you don't want to go to Alani um, resort, you can go to different islands. Next. Um, I give you like like quick sample here to the time life. It's like uh, like I arrived to LA and then Ulani and then to Ulani result. I will give you an example to one to four dates a stay and also back to LA. You can kind of like organize yourself and make them up. And I'm just give you like rondo prices, like total cost, like flight ticket. This is economic ticket. Also, you can pay business class. Rondo um, per person is $885 and up. The room per night is $549 uh, tax and up. A standard reservations, um, I make like rondo price for seven days. Um, if you say Alani uh, Hotel, that's 3,230A. And also uh, the restaurant resort kids, uh, kids menu per meal is $11 and up, adults 21 and up. Um, no alcohol drinks, uh, $9 and up. Alcohol cocktails is $17 and up. A spot price can be 120 and up. Um, and also show top per person is $55. And outside the result, meals is $10 and up. And drinks is $5 and up. The summary, I'm so happy to introduce this magical place to you with your family. I went on Lani Result with my family and I create memories that's world uh, last, um, last of time life. And also I give you a few detailed contact, uh, um, contact information for the hotel, Disneyland website, book and fly, hotels, and also follow up for social media. Thank you so much and have a good night. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, excellent, complete information from Soila. Uh, uh, Soila, I just have a, a little question. Uh, yes. Alauni is a uh, Hawaiian word? Hawaiian, what do you mean? Like the hotel the, the or name, is in the, the island? Name, the name allow me is a word with orange from Hawaiian or no? Where do you know? Yes, the, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to talk, but uh, for a reason, my, um, how you say my headphone get it. yeah so it's from um yes it's from Hawaii it's Hawaii that's your question yes okay and and do you know uh, it is a meaning that it has a meaning like in Spanish we have many words uh, from Mayas or from Aztecas with meaning 
I think allowing maybe it has some meaning. It's, it's something related with the um, native it, um, from there, but I didn't search it up what a specific mean. Okay, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I I get interested about it, and I uh, find something like uh, Alauni is maybe can be a name for for a, a boy, and it means like messenger from the, for a uh, kin's messenger or maybe messenger from a ship, and that is the the meaning in 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 Hawaiian uh, dialect. It's very interesting. Thank you so much for sharing this information with us. Thank you. Um, I hope everybody enjoy and like it and understand. I don't have to say it in Spanish, right? Because no. I know the previous pre uh, presentation they do in Spanish, but all good, right? Yes, it's very nice. Full English okay. this time. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Well, bueno, muchas gracias. Recuerden que si algunos me han quedado pendientes de sus participaciones, Las podemos ir haciendo en medio de la semana, ¿verdad? Solo nos ponemos de acuerdo y pues les doy un tiempecito de la clase. Bueno, eh, vamos a regresar entonces al material. Eh, um, estamos, bueno, ya hablamos de la homework, ¿verdad? Lo que ustedes van a hacer de investigar eso, lo pueden hacer en sus cuadernitos o en un documento aparte, ¿verdad? Eh, para buscar esa información. Pero hoy vamos a ir a lo que vendría siendo about the area codes. We have to know about area code in the United States and the abbreviation for many of the states in the United States. Okay, here we have the United States uh, political division and we have the contraction or maybe the two letters that make the name for each state. And remember, we have some states uh, that are not part from uh, from the map, there are in a uh, um, far, far from the map, like in this case, Alaska and Hawaii, uh, but it is including in this part. Bueno, vamos a comenzar a revisar y de esta parte vamos a hablar de los códigos de área. Los códigos de área quizás a nosotros de unos años para acá, acá se nos ha hecho más común hablar del 503. Y reconocernos como 503, pero esto no es something new, no es nada nuevo. Esos area codes para el área de los United States, cada estado, ¿verdad? Tiene asignado un area codes y va como, como por zonas. Bien, esto sirve cuando nos estamos, precisamente estamos atendiendo en call, en call centers Y de alguna manera necesitamos tener registro de dónde nos llamaron o de dónde procede un número. En algunos casos, algunas de las, eh, de las compañías de call centers tienen, eh, digamos, sistemas que permiten tener en pantalla, ¿verdad? Por lo general son IP phones o teléfonos que trabajan sobre IP y pues no nos va a aparecer necesariamente el número eh, exacto, pero eh, sí quizás ponerle atención a conocer los, los, los states, ¿Quién, cuáles son los nombres de los estados. No les voy a decir, miren, nos vamos a aprender estos nombres porque no tendría mucho chiste aprenderse todos estos números que están acá. Pero sí, de lo que iría detrás es que por lo menos nos aprendamos los nombres de los estados y las abreviaturas. Eso ya nos va a ir sirviendo para en un futuro, ¿verdad? Si pensamos ir a un call center, todos aquellos call centers que están relacionados a los United States o que su público, digamos, a atender son empresas o personas que viven en los Estados Unidos, esto sí nos va a ser de mucha utilidad en ese tipo de cosas. Y en segundo lugar, cuando nos toca trabajar posiblemente con correspondencia, sobre todo si es correspondencia de paqueterías que hay que enviar de un lugar a otro, puesto que dentro de las address, dentro de las direcciones, en, en los Estados Unidos se deben de incluir estas abreviaturas. Entonces, aquí están en la forma, en alphabetic order, están en orden alfabético que obviamente no es el mismo orden que tenemos acá. 
¿verdad? Es un orden diferente. Entonces, eh, comenzamos con Alabama, ¿verdad? que sería el, eh, la abreviatura AL, ¿verdad? Es la que se utiliza, AL. Luego está Alaska, AK, como pueden ver acá, por eso les decía esa, ¿verdad? Pertenece a el estado de Alaska. Eh, luego tenemos, por ejemplo, eh, Arizona, ¿verdad? Eh, que es la A and C, Arkansas, AR, California, CA, y ese creo que es, eh, como pueden ver, miren, tiene, eh, a medida, quiero que relacionemos algo. A medida hay más area codes, es porque es un estado más populoso, es decir, es un estado donde viven más personas o se concentra una mayor cantidad de población. Si nos ubicamos en California, California por su posición, ¿verdad? En, 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 aquí cercana a la costa, pues es, lo vuelve un estado pues muy, muy atractivo y pues por lo tanto, ¿verdad? Esta zona tiene muchos area cuts. Luego seguimos con Colorado, con CO, Connecticut, another one, Delaware y Washington D.C., a pesar de que este sea la, el centro de, de la actividad, digamos, de, de los United States, eh, tiene la característica de contar nada más con un code area o con un solo código de área, ¿verdad? Pero recordemos que es el, el, el distrito eh, principal, ¿verdad? O el estado principal, digamos, eh, y curiosamente su abreviatura no lleva el nombre de Washington, sino que simplemente se le dice D.C., Uh, luego tenemos Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, um, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland. Uh, bueno, este se ha vuelto muy famoso, ¿verdad? Muy famoso hoy en día, en, sobre todo en las redes sociales, ¿verdad? Eh, en estos memes que vemos hoy, ¿verdad? Eh, porque pues una gran cantidad de salvadoreños se ha ido para ese lado. En un ejercicio que vamos a hacer, vamos a tratar de ir conociendo en dónde están ubicados la división política, en dónde están ubicados cada uno de estos estados. Porque de acuerdo a su ubicación, vamos a considerar también su importancia. Sobre todo en estos que están acá, miren, en los estados como Arizona, ¿verdad? como New Mexico y como Texas, que son los estados que... Eh, son fronterizos, ¿verdad? Con México y que por lo tanto tienden a tener mucha concentración, digamos, de, de latinos. Well, one more we have. Pero vamos a, tener, a irlos viendo todos, ¿verdad? Tenemos Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey. Es interesante saber que todos los que tienen New acá, todos los estados que tienen New, en su mayoría es porque el nombre provino de eh, Gran Bretaña. Es decir, si nos fuéramos a England, en Inglaterra, en un mapa de Inglaterra, vamos a hallar un Humphrey, vamos a hallar un Jersey y vamos a hallar una George. Eh, eh, todas esas que llevan New es porque se trajeron los nombres británicos y se les pusieron, ¿verdad? Lo de New, haciendo alusión o manteniendo la referencia a lo anterior. New Mexico, pues es otro estado interesante porque ese fue peleado durante un tiempo precisamente con México, ¿verdad? Entre Estados Unidos y México. Recordemos que hubo una pequeña, una pequeña war, ¿verdad? Por ese, por ese estado propiamente y lo terminó teniendo los United States. Uh, luego tenemos uh, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, que pues es uno de los estados más eh, importantes en términos de la situación de del, los cowboys, las farms, Utah, uh, when we have Vermont, Virginia, Uh, then we have West, hay another Washington, está, la, está el Washington DC que es propiamente como la central eh, política, pero está el resto de Washington que no es el DC, que ese sí es solo como wo, wo. Y West Virginia, Wisconsin y Wyoming, 52 states, son 52 estados. Entonces, estos es en algunos call centers 
se vuelve necesario conocer de qué estado me están llamando y, y en dónde está ubicado. Where is it? Eh, ubicarnos con un mapa como estos, ¿verdad? Se vuelve eh, menester para saber la zona en donde posiblemente, sobre todo si estamos trabajando con envíos de paqueterías o eh, recepción de algún tipo de documentos o envíos de documentos, puesto que vamos a necesitar las address y en medio de las address van involucrados lo que vendrían siendo los nombres de sus estados. Pueden ver que hay unos que son más grandes que otros y estos principalmente, todos estos que se encuentran acá, son los más pequeños, ¿verdad? Los que tienden a verse menos, digamos, en los mapas y que tienen una extensión territorial mucho menor. Pero no por ello dejan de tener, digamos, su correspondiente eh, importancia. Well, bueno, time is over. Thank you for coming, everybody. We are going to say bye-bye for today. But remember, tomorrow we have another class. Goodbye, take care. May God bless you. Goodbye, Goodbye. teacher. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye.